Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be covering the following areas. We will be modifying an existing roof and be playing with some key properties. We will be going through the roof guide feature for hip roofs. We will create a single truss. And finally we will customize a single truss. Sounds good? Let's get to it. To access the roof tool set, click on this icon from the main frame builder tool set. In this section I will be modifying the following key properties. Overhang. Shift ridge, apex. Raise left or right heel. Change the web diagonal configuration. Reverse the web diagonal configuration. Add truss nogs. Convert the entire profile configuration to back to back configuration. Change end to first dimple point clearance. First, select your roof. Then, click on this icon to edit standard properties for the selected roof. Note, you can use the search feature to search for a specific property to keep up with me in this tutorial. I will now change the left and right overhang. Pay attention to changes that will be reflected. Next I will shift the apex of the roof 1000 mm to the left. Note, you can enter a positive or negative value for this property to shift either left or right. Next I will raise only the right heel of the roof by 300 mm. Now let's change the web diagonal configuration from the standard warrant type to how. Next I will show you how to reverse the configuration pattern of the diagonals. I will now demonstrate how to add a truss nog. Note you can add multiple truss nogs. Pay special attention to the delimitation when adding multiple truss nogs.
Wonderful. I hope you are keeping up with all of this. It's very easy once you know how. This reminds me of the time when I first learned how to ride a bicycle. I got hit by a delivery truck. I was airborne for about what seemed like a minute. But I learned very quickly the rules of the road after that day. Let's move on to the next option. We will convert the entire configuration to a back-to-back -back configuration. Note, back-to-back -back truss configuration has some major advantages over the standard inline or in-plane configuration. It makes for a stronger configuration. It saves on material consumption. It saves on machine time to produce the truss as there is much less tooling. Much easier and faster assembly. Next I will show you how to change the top and bottom clearance. These properties are found under your advanced properties. I will now demonstrate how to generate HIP proof guides in two quick steps. For this demonstration, I have created a set of walls ready for a roof. Step 1, draw a face or footprint for the roof. Step 2, select the face and click on this icon to generate the hip roof guides. Note, hip roof guides are generated based on properties set in your default settings. We will be using these guides for the next demonstration on how to create a single truss as well as in the other roof tutorials to come. Next, we will draw a single truss outside of a group. We will use the hip proof guides from the previous section as a guide. I will create three different style trusses. Pay attention. Note, I will set the pull height property to true when I need to use a girder truss or if I want to follow the guide points for the pitch of the truss. Click on the icon that is in the shape of a gable or two-sided truss. As a roofer or roof designer you will observe the hip truss angle is different to the general angle or pitch of the other trusses. In this case you can set the pull height property to true and use the guide points to get the correct angle. I will now draw a girder truss and set the pull height property to true. This will allow me to truncate the ends of the truss using the hip proof guides as a reference. Note, you can set the pull height property to true in the default settings if you need to use it throughout this type of tasks.
Don't panic, I am still here. I will now add a mono pitch roof truss. In this last section, I will show you how to customize a truss. We will use the trusses we have already drawn to demonstrate this. I will extend the overhangs of a truss and set girder middle plate height so that the overhang for the mono pitch truss rests properly on the girder truss. Pay attention! I will now complete some of the roof and draw different type of trusses and make changes to each truss for its intended purpose. I have sped up the video for your convenience. This comes to the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial we'll go into more detail with designing custom trusses. Please like and subscribe.